You're listening to the J Mix Show with Go Mac and J Mix on the Tupac Death Row channel. Dig that? This is a J Mix exclusive. <laughs> Did you ever get a chance to meet Thick? Um, what is people's common misconception? Yeah, when it comes we're good friends. To yeah. What do people get wrong? Uh, I, I don't, you know, we were, we were, we were friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think we doted. I know I doted on him. You know what I'm saying? I love this style. Um, he was just a real big fly motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, the way, and that's what I was on back then, like, just real, the way he spit his rhymes and, you know, the style that he had, it was just real cool. And that was my whole thing about King T, cool, the, the coolest and shit like that. I don't know, I mean... They said the same thing about Big Daddy Kane. They said the same, you know, Common said the same thing. I was one of the, I, I'm, I was their fans, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm more of a, a Biggie fan than anything. When everything was going on about Biggie and Tupac, I was riding with Biggie. Even though Tupac is my man, you know what I'm saying, and all that, but I, Biggie was my, you know, he, the way he spit, we kind of sounded alike. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was, I think. People said that he intentionally. Nah. That skin intentionally nah. tried to sound. No, 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 We uh, actually, everybody, we all were in New York. Tupac, Biggie, me, working with Easy Mo B at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And I think everybody just, it was just a style, a real cool you know, style that everybody was kicking, and, and I don't think nobody was taking from each other or anything like that. You know, it was just at that time the shit to do if you were the, if you were the, the mother, you know, a tight MC like motherfuckers said you was, you know, you was kicking it like that back then. Like I said, everybody is saying that Biggie took things from me, took style from me. Don't believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? Biggie was just a fly motherfucker, and I think I took more from him than whatever. You know? That's, good. I mean, that's very humble. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we asked the source mm -hmm. to, to clear up all those misconceptions. Because mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of stuff on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, you said that in, during that East Coast, West Coast thing that was going on, mm -hmm. um, that you sided with Biggie. Did you catch any flack? No, I didn't side with Biggie. Right. They said, um, who do you as as a, a as a rap? As, who do you think raps the best? That was it. You know what I'm saying? I thought Biggie. I just dug Biggie style more than Tupac because Tupac, I, I wasn't really on the militant type thing. You know what I'm saying? And the positive message type thing. I was more on the kick in the door, waving the faux faux, murder a motherfucker, sell some drugs, and fuck. Fuck a bitch, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit, of the type of shit I was digging back then, you know? No doubt. Um, when did you first meet Tupac? Oh, man. It's like, wow. It was like, I think we, you know, came in the industry at the same time and always pass, passing. Everything's cool, everything's love. I think we were fans of each other. Every you know, every time we go to you know, we go to New York and things like that, we would hook up, run around New York, hitting clubs, hopping on stage, you know, just rapping, having fun with this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't no East Coast, West Coast thing. Just having fun with it. Um and that was it. You know what I'm saying? It was I I I can't say that I really kicked it with Tupac like that, 
You know what I'm saying? I just know when we saw each other, it was all love, especially when we were out on a road, we embraced each other and, and hit, you know, just, I, I, I rolled with his crew. I didn't really have a crew. Every, every time I went out of town, I was, they, they, my, my, my uh, record label was so cheap, they just send a motherfucking DJ with me and the road manager. And it was always fun to see Pac out there, you know. Special thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. Keep it locked. There's more to come with Silky Fine, King T, Sebo, C Style, and so many others. And I'll see everybody on the next upload. One love, everybody. This is a J Mix exclusive. What up, we shut up?